Okay. Um, I did. I. I wanted to better understand what the purpose of multitasking might be. Because I myself um, have a tendency to move from um, a, a, a subject to a subject to a subject, or rather, um, a um, mode of doing to another mode of doing to another mode of doing, like a um, a cleaning house doing or a painting doing or a writing doing or being on the computer doing. Um, and I never really got fully submersed in doing one of those things for a very long period of time throughout um, any given day, really. Uh, it was mostly going from dinky 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 dink. Uh, it seemed as though others thought it might be their business, I guess, to point out the fact that that was not an acceptable form of expression. It was not effective or efficient and that um, oftentimes I was looked at as if I were scattered, scattered, I would hate to say scatterbrained because I think I've only heard that in um, a joking manner. It doesn't come out very often and I feel like it might have even been one of my own relatives that said it. <laughs> well, you know what I mean about relative, not relatives, not relative either. Ah, there they are again, all those words. Hang on a second, let's start over. Someone that I was um, very closely blood connected to. It was like an aunt, I feel like, or something. Um, again, just in case y'all is not being present to the message. Uh, I'm seeding quantum physics here, people. So when I consider relatives, I'm I'm feeling really close to a lot of you people out there. I'd like to say everybody, but not everybody's Facebooked me yet. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I don't even think everybody can though. I think they like give you a limit, like you can only have like five thousand or something like that. Like what's that? We're like a global community. We should be able to have all of each other all of the time. I need a new Ethernet system. How do we get that? I need a Nikola Tesla. Okay, anybody got some? Um, Nikola Tesla, you know, secret secret information over there that y'all can throw out that's gonna move this shit quick. Anyways, uh, where was I? Oh, multitasking, right? Thank goodness she can stay at least remotely present. Um, exceptionally present, I would say, perhaps. Well, okay, that's a bit much. We'll just say mostly present. That sounds pretty healthy. That sounds mostly healthy. Yeah, and, but I don't know about that either, I guess, because oftentimes I, I I, almost become so present that I move into this other space of being not present at all, where it's almost like I, I skip time and I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to be totally saturated with the entire environment, wherever it is. I move my hands a lot. That's got to be distracting. Sorry, folks. Either way, we'll switch hands there. How's that? You want to look at the left one for a while? So this multitasking thing comes up and all of a sudden I realize that at one point in time when I was working on this computer here, um, I would have me listening to one of the videos that I did to kind of, you know, take a, another peek at whether or not I was going to be learning anything from myself. <laughs> Are these videos even going to be helpful for, for the person saying them? Because if the person saying them doesn't understand them, then it's, it's, a, it's, it's, that's not good. Um, but if the person understanding them does understand what they're saying and there's some sort of continuity, um, are they saying it in a way where the majority amount of the people that are watching uh, can understand what's happening? I just heard this um, quote by Albert Einstein uh, that, um, no sassafras, what is it now? I don't remember, but it basically was like um, quantum physics should be able to be simply shared with a barmaid or something like that. I could probably go to my home page and find it, but and we'll do some multitasking right here just so we can see how effective this Adina cat is. Can she move around the computer and not like totally mess this whole thing up? So, um, ding, 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 truth. 
Oh, okay. It should be able to be. It should be possible to explain quantum physics to a barmaid, Albert Einstein. So if I'm watching this, I got to be able to understand myself, and I also have to be able to understand how the brain is even getting me from. Well, how the mind is instructing the brain to behave, so that the brain can sh have the body show up to this particular series of events that's going to be taking place next. Maybe I'll tie it to my arm. I'll just like tie my hands so that I don't move them so much. Oh, that's so warm. Ah, see, <laughs> now that's where it's at, people. Every once in a while, grab it and just give it a good, give it a good rub and let it know that that it's supposed to it's supposed to be loved. So love it, people, love it. Um, but so I thought, let's let's do some multitasking here. I was speaking with a Spanish friend of mine on Skype while I was reviewing these videos, while I was trying to get my emails down, and while I was also trying to maintain a certain line of communication on Facebook, keeping it open as I'm also looking on other YouTube sites to try and drop in information that I'm finding that I'm getting from other people who are responding to what I'm saying with what they think I should be seeing on YouTube. So it's this constant movement and this one response required me to have a Spanish translation which normally then I would have popped open a Google translate bar and gotten the translation all the while still doing all of these other things you know multitasking I mean I'm on here for let's just say between two and four hours at a shot and I'm I'm really accomplishing quite a bit from my perspective I'm the only being that has to do this not you I'm not this I, this is me sharing me with you so that you can kind of when you stand across from this being here this is what you're standing across from this is what's happening to this human right now this right here this is who you're looking at so this is why I share this with you. But they did this study on multitaskers, these text messengers and paper writers and uh, mostly college kids. I think the study was done between like 18 and 25. They did it for one year, folks. They did it for one year. Oh, this brings a tear to my eye sometimes when I consider how fast we are at making decisions. One year, and they basically came to realize that multitasking was not an acceptable way to transition from moment to moment to moment um, and I'm I'm feeling very happy with my life right now the way that I'm multitasking I'm getting the things done that I know I want to get done in a manner that is still allows the system to unfold within the space there's there's so much being accomplished in a very short amount of time but it's not about the it's not about the size of what we're sharing it's about how we're bringing in moment to moment effectively seeing it in each snapshot of douche what's happening right here douche what's happening right here douche what's happening right here do right I mean fractal by fractal by fractal by fractal take that vision what is it like 44 frames a second or whatever and and we've we've isn't that what that is? What is that? God, what is that? Either way, what basically, I'll get the numbers at some point, I'm sure. Sorry, I, I don't know why I went off so scientific there. I got to make sure that if I'm doing that, I know what I'm saying. But there's a way that the eye works that catches frames. And it catches them in, in these fractals at uh, like uh, 12 something every seconds. And we've, we've somehow spent bed it up or slowed it down anyways it blurs the whole thing into one solid vision and we think that this is this is a life that we have to tackle a, a, in this solid vision like from the time we're born to the time we're we're dead um, and we we do get that we do we are allowed that experience um, to have that continuous looked at life too um, but if you're in the outer eye if you're in the eye that steps outside of the actual whole planet itself and recognizes what's at stake what we're actually having to accomplish you kind of have to say what's m what is this organism best suited for if I'm sh to show up to a collective what is naturally coming out of my form that if I perform to the at absolute most masterfully um, expressed uh, position on this planet if I can do the very best each day just competing with my own self
also the multitasking basically boils down to this and I'll end it because we're already at 10 minutes of me babbling again because that's what she does I can, I can, I can. Um, I go into my emails I see that I have a need to understand Spanish and rather than open up this Google Translate bar I drop into my Skype and in that Skype moment I'm able to get my translation I'm also given history because of the translation that I got was asking for it to be known to me because I didn't understand a certain word so I had to ask that and then I was given a, that history lesson in addition to being able to even spend quality human time with another being learning how they're effective in this particular method of research not only to give me a translation because that was their particular space on the planet that they had to learn that they had to tend to that they were raised in that was their culture their beliefs their all of that came along with this package in addition to getting research which I totally didn't expect at all and that's always that's always like when I can get the information in me if I can just get the information fed to me I can learn how, me listen to me 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 let's just change that again when this particular being on the planet when I can actually see what what works for it what 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 how does it how does it how does it beat what is its pulse what is its, what is its pattern and how does it thread in with all of these other patterns um, for me multitasking is my entire life and it's not because I'm trying to get some objective field instant gratification thing understood people um, and I, I want to share that with everyone so that people can kind of comprehend what kind of a human when they see this being when they meet her what they're talking to because it's not I don't hold these cultural histories in my form as if I'm following along some regimen uh, that I'm required to show up to I pick and choose from every single one of them and I allow them to fold and roll into the entire experience I allow them to really pull me in and uh, and dance inside me the, the really rich stuff from all of the cultures around the world and having that particular thing happen to me having that interest just in those really um, formative years between 18 and 25 I guess turned me into a person that recognized that there are lots of things that this particular form um, is pretty good at or at least feels really good at doing and that's really what we're looking for folks is we're looking for what feels good um, while we're doing it we don't it's it's your right to feel to feel good believe it or not folks I'm telling you man uh, if we can fuck it all oh, oh sorry <laughs> if we can if we could really um, allow it to all kind of each moment mm. <sighs> I love you people I love you because I I've seen I've seen what a an organism can do if it's if its desire is to move itself to educate every part of it all of its molecules each one pulling the, each molecule into focus into focus into focus how do I do with this one into focus what do I do with this one into focus uh, so thank you for um, sustaining me, Earth. <laughs> thank you, everybody out there who is um, doing the exact same thing, just showing up to the self and uh, saying, what am I? And what am I good at? How can I enhance these qualities? And um, do it for the love of the entire collective whole, the one, the one thing that we're all living freely off of peace people. I was like, thanks. <laughs>